Hi, this is Barbara Peterson. I'm the Special Projects Coordinator for Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett in the St. Thomas office. Today I honor Senator Ruby M. Rouse as my person for Black History Month. I think she should be recognized because she was a trailblazer for women in the military and politics here in the Virgin Islands. This is a woman that defied the norm. When in her era women married and started uh, families, she instead decided to join the military rising to the ranks as one of the first females to uh, serve with General Eisenhower in World War II. After that, she came home to St. Croix, she got married, and fostered and adopted children from the Queen Louise home. Then, she ran for public office and was elected one of the first women for the VA legislature. She will forever be one of the first women to serve in the VA legislature. Her story inspires me to take risks to lead and to always speak up. Good day, my name is Cletus Clendenin, District Director for Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett. I have many black history heroes, but today I would like to speak to you about the late, great Sam Cooke. Um, Sam Cooke was a great musician, a great songwriter, a great entrepreneur, um, but he was also a great activist. As a crossover artist in the 50s and 60s, he was able to use his platform um, to spread the word about racial injustice and inequality that was happening in the South as well as other areas in America. Um, this Black History Month, I, I would like us all to reflect on the hard work um, and in many cases the bloodshed um, by our Black History heroes, whether known or unknown, whether famous or not so famous. I think we should take this month to reflect on the hard work, dedication um, that people like Mr. Sam Cook, um, you know, put into paving the road that we walk today. Greetings to one and all. I am Kaiser A. Carlwood, Federal Funding Liaison Field Representative in the Office of Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett. Today, for Virgin Islands history, I pay tribute to Elmo D. Roebuck, better known to many as Elmo D. the Man for We. He was a politician, a poet, a storyteller extraordinaire, dancer, teacher, musician, friend, and elder statesman. After teaching for five years at the Charlotte Amalia High School and holding several government posts, Robert became the youngest Virgin Islander to hold a cabinet level in 1964 when then Governor M. Ralph Bywanski named him to the Department of Housing and Community Renewal. Mr. Roebuck even served in seven legislatures, four of those as president and three as head of the Finance Committee. Roebuck's zest for life infected everything he did, whether presiding with style and grace over a sometimes unruly Senate, advising governors, or simply sitting down with a group of school children and telling the Anansi stories to remind them of their rich cultural background. What I remember most, that he was very up on everything. He was a community force and he could balance the budget, something he learned from his mentor, Oral B. Otley. Today, for Virgin Islands history, I pay tribute to Elmo D. Roebuck. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bucky Small husband of Congresswoman Stacey Plaskett. As we celebrate Black History Month, the person that I'm celebrating is James Weldon Johnson. He wrote the Black National Anthem. The Black National Anthem means a lot to many of us individually, but I think that it means a lot in present day as it meant in the past, and it'll help us move us toward our future.